So what's going on guys, my name is Violent, welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2, an update 1.06 coming at you with those patch notes. So if it's your first time around here, be sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. Drop a like on this video if you do learn something. We got a lot to talk about, it's about to get super juicy. So, if anything sparks an idea, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Like I said, juice! Okay, there were server improvements. They addressed, however, a bunch of things that didn't matter. The After Action Report is still black screens when a new game update arrives. But we got this new Headquarters feature. I don't quite understand it. It's They're adding another menu. A lot of people say it's a good thing. It's a better way to switch out the lobby, the 48 player lobby, you don't have to restart the game now. Oh, you like that? We're going to be talking about this weapon I got in a supply drop as well. Throughout the midst of this, this is the Roxy, and you're going to love this. Now, it does have a zombie perk on it, which I do want to talk about, called Close Quarters, and this sucker comes with a bang and we got a lot we're also gonna pack into this video okay but melee kills grant bonus to the special ability meter throughout this video I'm gonna be trying to point out the benefits of this so be paying attention to the gameplay and as well as the patch notes that I'm giving you because you might learn something but moving over to the Twitter poll that I hosted I said reviewing update 1.06 curious lately about prestige issues with zombie supply drops you know we've had issues let's vote based on what you're experiencing some people did say they were earning drops. Now that variant does range just a hair. However, a majority of people out of 36 votes, which is pretty good, shout out to you guys, 47% said they were not earning drops after they prestiged. But I'm interested about this 34% that said they didn't even get an option to prestige. It just wasn't there, it froze on them. So we're experiencing a whole nother type of glitch that's replacing earning the supply drops. Now we can't prestige. But the people that voted here today are following me over on Twitter, and I want you guys to be a part of that as well. So maybe you don't have a Twitter account. Feel free to make one and interact with the zombies community that I'm building because you're important and your meta counts just like mine. So if we can gather it all together, we can come up with some great results. But with the game of Call of Duty World War II being out now an entire month, I feel it's important to cover some of the multiplayer patch notes in correlation to some of the zombies errors we've experienced in the past. My job is to make sure we don't forget this stuff and we can continue to talk about it throughout this experience in this season past. So, there were server improvements that were addressed, however the after action report still goes black screen upon game updates. So when it does pop up that there is a game update, with me on this last one, I did notice on Twitter that Sledgehammer said there was a new game update and when that occurred, I was playing through my game, and towards the end of it, when I died, it just went black screen and said I had an update. I didn't even have an after action report. So that's what I'm talking about with server improvements. They're not perfect. We still have a long way to go. Now, Sledgehammer, I'm not bashing your work. I'm merely giving you advice and telling you what I'm seeing so you can benefit from it and get better. So, the leaderboards, there was a fix adjusting the multiplayer and co-op stats. However, it's not functioning properly and updating consistently. That's what I noticed in my research. And as well in Zombies, none of the stats make sense. Have a look at the top leaderboards. Like, I know about glitches, but these guys are on a whole nother level. Nothing there makes sense. So that's an update on leaderboards and where we're at. There was a ban in multiplayer of a prestige general glitch. You know, the general where you do prestige in the headquarters. There's an XP farm fix that occurred. However, no word on Zombies characters and the unlock loss that we were seeing. So you'd go all through all these work doing these challenges. Perhaps the one cool thing we got from Sledgehammer here in this game, but your work would not count. It wouldn't matter if, if you prestiged in multiplayer, you ran a chance when you went into a custom game of your character just being erased, gone. You have to do it all over again. And that's just unacceptable. It's just crazy, the world that we're living in right now, at least in the zombies community. Best believe I'm gonna keep you updated on where we're at, okay? Weekly orders. There was a special order freeze fix. As you guys know, you complete your special order. We could never do it again. And maybe that was gonna be the special order that zombies might actually receive an order because there's no update on zombies orders or bounties. 
And that's something we saw in Infinite Warfare Zombies. A side note that I have is that the Chrome Secret Camo, there's an update on that. It's the last camo you can unlock like Dark Matter or Black Sky. You know the rocket launcher called the Panzer Shrek? That specific camo of snow in that Panzer Shrek launcher was not allowing to be unlocked. So no one could actually unlock Chrome. And now that's been addressed so you can get gold and diamond in the launchers. And now people actually are accepting Chrome as the secret camo. So be, sure, be on the lookout for that. I'll be getting that eventually, but later on down the road. Not quite yet. But the largest multiplayer issue right now is the global flinch values that need a nerf. Primed, which is a basic training, got a nerf. And this basic training deals with flinch specifically, but it wasn't very effective. So all the multiplayer guys right now are kind of going through something where flinch is a big problem. Now when they address this, it might affect zombies a little bit, and I'll keep you updated on if that does change. But that's going to conclude the highlights of what I have. We're going to now go into specifics. The HQ status update is now fully populated, so it will be rolling out to your time zone eventually, if it's not yet. So your solo experience will become a thing of the past. Note it right now, because it'll be the last time you actually feel it. Going down the entire list, there's a bunch of these that deal with challenges and tracking. Now in Zombies we do have challenges, character challenges, where we unlock special characters and we can apply those skins to our actual character and play as them. But there's no tracking for that or progress bars. If you do complete one of these challenges, we can't go back and look and see which ones we're missing. This is sort of a problem that we're experiencing in Zombies too. But I mean these challenges are hard enough. We should have a challenges section in our dossier just like multiplayer does. That's just my opinion. But let's have a hard look at the actual changes that happened in Zombies. They fixed Zombies issue preventing players from earning supply drops. We got a lot to talk about here when it comes to that. There were various multiplayer and zombie split screen improvements. Ain't got much to speak on that, I don't do split screen, but there you go. Now there were weapon tuning updates which I want to address just quickly. The bar was nerfed and added more recoil. There was a reticle unlock fix for the STG44 reflex sight. And custom reticle fixes for scopes of the Car 98 k and Lee Einfeld. So many great clips, I want to thank all of you over on Twitter sending me these. This is proof right now that you cannot prestige. It glitches on you, it freezes on you, there is some sort of freezing glitch. I think in the back of our heads a lot of us thought this patch was going to be the one where the supply drop prestige glitch was going to be fixed for zombies. Well partially yes, but as you know when they fix something in the game because it's all interconnected and they're not programming it separately like they should be. Things are affected that shouldn't be affected because they're connected somehow. So we do have some sort of glitch caused by fixing the previous supply drop glitch. And it happens to be not being able to prestige. It just freezes on you and that's the validated proof that I have to show you guys. Now I don't want to jump off the rails and just assume what Sledgehammer is doing with their business. I don't know 100% what they're doing day in and day out. But what we're seeing with the results since launch, it's been a month. And right now we have a fix for zombie supply drops coming in, but it's only for public matches. This is not what most people are going to tell you because I tested it. We had people in public matches going out and testing if they were earning zombie supply drops, common or rare, standard or rare. And then we went into custom games, I did personally while they were doing public games, and my results came out to show that no, you actually are not earning zombie supply drops in custom games. So the result of what we got here today is that if you're playing a custom game inviting friends in and it's not public where you got to play with noobs, you are not going to be able to earn zombie supply drops. I don't know how they missed this, but I went through, did the work, did the time, plowed the field, did five levels to get that next supply drop at rank 20 of prestige one and I was not awarded it. So we know in custom games, you're absolutely not getting rewarded your zombie supply drops, even though the fix 
specifically states that there was fixed zombies issue preventing players from earning supply drops that has not been fixed properly and here's the proof to show you guys again we're still dealing with it after a month let me know what you guys think in the comment section below it's just kind of mind-blowing the lack of care that's being put into zombies right now but for everybody who did the multiplayer prestige general glitch where you're XPing farm and getting max prestige there is a 72 hour ban in multiplayer you will have a full progression wipe and one month forced into a canon 24 7 playlist whatever map that may be that is the new banned rules and if you were involved in this you were banned after update 1.06 came out a very small update also was pushed out addressing division prestige issues however this was the ban that was put in place they kind of rushed it i feel because the result of what happened was incorrect bans were put out so people were actually banned that didn't do this glitch how would you feel if that happened to you they go on to say they're trying to resolve this error on their behalf we've heard that before and if you're a zombies player you know how long that can actually take so this is where we're at it's the waiting game again until the zombie supply drops get fixed so be sure to subscribe and stay up to date and i'll see you guys in the next one violent out